1 Peter chapter 4 verse 10, each of you should use whatever gifts you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Each of you should use whatever gifts you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Today I want us to talk about how to celebrate each other genuinely and sincerely while staying in our own lane, while minding our own business, while, you know, running our own race, while reaching towards the mark of our high calling, you know, and because these are two different things and yet they are two different and important things. If we are able to master and if we are able to walk in them perfectly, because the truth of the matter is that today in our all in our day and age we are not able to balance the two we are not able to know how to how do i celebrate my sister how do i celebrate my brother how do i celebrate my you know you know how do i celebrate my friends and what they are doing and what they are becoming and yet at the same time i am staying in my own lane the truth is that we are not all headed to the same direction we are not all headed to the same destination. We each of us have different destinations all together. We have different journeys, different, uh, you know, processes because each of us are gifted differently. We are gifted differently. We are gifted. Uh, we are gifted uniquely. We have different uh, personalities. We have different abilities. We have different skills. Even the twins. And, and, and sisters, blood-related people, they all have different things to solve. The, the, the thing is, when God created us, he put us on the earth to solve specific problems that exist on earth. And that is what our assignments are. Your assignment is to discover what, God, what has God put you on earth to solve. What problem exists with your name on it? It is for you to solve. It is for you to use your creativity, your ability, your talent, your giftings, your anointing to solve it. And that is what purpose is. But the truth is we are not in our own lanes. Someone be, uh, uh, wrote and said that personality begins when comparison ends. When you stop comparing your journey to other people's journey. When you stop comparing yourself to other people. Then your personality begins to emerge and to manifest. You begin to discover who you are. You begin to discover, oh, I can do this. Or oh, oh, this is what God is calling me to do. Or, you know, when you begin to concentrate and focus and, and, and put all your energy and mindset towards you, towards you know, growth and towards you becoming the best version of yourself, you're able to discover who you are and your calling on the earth. Because the truth is that jealousy and envy and, and maliciousness and coveting what other people have are distractions. They are distractions that pull you off your lane. They are distractions that pull you off and they, they make you unhappy and dissatisfied and you're not, you're not who you are. You know, and the Bible have just said that we should use whatever gifts we have received to serve others. And we should also be able to know that that uh, each of us has received gifts. Your sister, your friend, your brother, everybody have gifts. And when God gives others gifts, when God has placed those gifts in other people, it is for you to enjoy and not to be jealous of. It is for them to be able to serve other people. It is for them to be able to bring, to be a light to this world, to be a salt of the, of the earth. It is for them to be able to solve the problems that exist on earth. It is for, for us to enjoy those gifts, the gifts that are in our sisters, the gifts that are in our friends. It is for us to enjoy and not for us to be jealous of. Because the problem, the, the problem we have is that we we look at other people and we see them prospering way ahead of us reaching to their destination way ahead of us one thing that i have always knew in my life is that someone may go ahead of me someone may you know reach their destination way ahead of me someone may you know become what god wants them to become way ahead of me you know have have things way ahead of me and be able to achieve things and prosper in what they are doing way ahead of me but sim the, the 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 simple reason that the simple um uh, the simple thing that they are not headed in the same direction that i'm headed in that gives me peace 
because I know whatever is for me is for me, whether they get there ahead of me or not. Whatever is for you is for you, whether people go ahead of you or not, whether people get there before you, whatever God has put for you is there. You will find it there when you get there. Whether they, they get ahead of you, whether they go ahead of you, the promises of God over your lives are yes and amen. They will be there when you get there. The blessings of the Lord that make it rich and not death no sorrow. It will find you. It will find you whether you're delayed or not. And so we should stop looking at our process. We should lo stop looking at our, the part of, a part of our journey. And comparing it to other people's successes and other people's achievements. We don't know what it takes. We don't know what it has taken for them to reach there. We don't even know the, the sleepless night that they have had to enjoy. We don't know the, the, the pain and the cries that they have to cry. And we don't know the, the work and the effort that they have put in for them to be able to, to be where they are today. For them to be able to have the achievements and the success they have today. And we are busy coveting those successes and coveting those achievements and we forget to stay in our own lane we forget to develop ourselves we forget to grow and nurture who we are and what we are becoming so i want us to be able to know that that especially those that are in the kingdom those that are you know our brothers and sisters in the kingdom and in this christian walk we should be able to know that um when they are able to to be the best versions of themselves when they have those achievements when they have those successes we should celebrate because it is an achievement for the kingdom it is not just for an achievement it is an achievement for the kingdom you know god has given them what he has given them to be able to reach more people so you should be celebrating because you know they have what they have and I'm celebrating because they have it, because they are able to reach more people than I am able to. Because we have just established the fact that we are not all headed to the same direction. And we each of us have different problems to solve. Each of us have different assignments. So let us be encouraged. Encouraged to focus on us. Encouraged to... to uh, I'm encouraging that sister and that brother out there who may be feeling... Um, you know, my time is, I'm just delayed. It is not happening for me. It is happening for other people. It is not, um, I, I cannot see the, the, the fruits. I have been doing this uh, year in and year out and I cannot see the fruits. And um, you're almost giving up and you're almost throwing in the towel and you're almost quitting. And I want to encourage you to stop and stop comparing yourself. Stop being, uh, stop looking at other people. The Bible talks about, you know, in, in Proverbs chapter, Proverbs in uh, chapter 4, Proverbs chapter 4, chap chapter 4 verses 23, that above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. Keep your mouth free from perversity. Keep corrupt talk far from your lips. Let your eyes true. Uh, look straight ahead let your eyes look straight ahead fix your gaze directly before you fix your gaze directly before you it continues to say give careful thought to the paths of your feet and be steadfast in all your ways 27 says do not turn to the right or to the left keep your foot from evil do not turn to the right or to the left keep your eyes directly uh, before you Keep your eyes directly before you. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Do not look to the right or to the left. Do not look at what other people are doing. Do not look at, you know, what is happening out there and what is not happening for you. Keep your eyes directly ahead, straight ahead. Because it is only then that you're able to, to give time. Give time to what, whatever God has birthed in your heart. Give time to whatever, you know, to whatever God is doing in you and whatever is being processed and whatever is being birthed inside of you. I want to encourage you that let us celebrate each other. Let's not be jealous and envious of each other. The gifts that God has given each, each of us is for us to enjoy. 
and not for, for us to be jealous of. And the fact that they are able to use whatever they have and whatever God has given them to reach more people should be joy now for us, should be, you know, something for us to celebrate and for us to be able to, to applaud. So may God bless you.